The biggest letdown of Persona 3 Portable was the fact that it lacked the 2D cutscenes of the original version, which gave it so much charm and helped its atmosphere. It's also probably the biggest reason why people don't want to play Portable all that much, as opposed to just playing Reload or even FES. This is not an issue anymore, as with this tutorial, we'll be adding the 2D animated cutscenes back into Portable. And for this tutorial, the mods I'm using are Project Kotane and Cutscenes Restored. Cutscenes Restored is a mod that takes cutscenes from base Persona 3 and adds them here, while Project Kotane is a completely mind-blowing mod that reanimates cutscenes from the original to include female MC instead of the male. So to start, you first need a PPSSP PSP emulator and a completely legal PSP ISO of Persona 3 Portable. First, head to this website called Beginner's Guide to Modding Persona 3 Portable and scroll down and you'll find two files that we need. The first is this Lipsums P3P CPK patch and the next one is this AMLS package manager. Download both of them and then head to the project Kotone website. Scroll down and you'll find this Google Drive link. Open the link to see all the cutscene files and download the files of the language you want. After that, keep scrolling down. Yeah, going down and down and down till we reach this. We see a file called Project Kotane and click on Manual Download. Next, go to our CPK file. Open it and we'll find this ul etc etc .ini file. Copy that and go to our PSP file location. Go to memory stick, PSP, cheats folder and place it here. Next, go back to our PSP main file location and create a new folder called P3P. And next go to PPSSPP, go to settings, system, scroll down till we find the enable sheets option. Make sure that it's enabled. Now for our next few steps. We have to move to Aimless, so let's head to the Aimless package manager. Let's open it up. From here, from the drop down menu, select Persona 3 Portable and make sure it's not the PC version. And go to this gear icon. And now we have to set the paths. So for the output folder path, browse and make sure that the path we set is the P3P folder that we created. For the cheats path, go to our PPSSPP directory, the cheats folder, and make sure that it points to the INI file that we copied before. For the PPSSPP ISO, just uh, select wherever your ISO is located, just point to that file. And finally, for the windows.exe file, Make sure it points to wherever this, as you can see, the version 64 file is located. And also make sure that delete old versions is also enabled. We will need that later. Then, once all that is set, click on Unpack Base Files. So that is done, we'll get this message called Finished Unpacking. Close the other tabs and head to the Cutscenes Restored website. Scroll down till you find this Cutscenes Restored file. And there's this one click install option and 
click on whichever one you want the one with subtitles or without subtitles i'm choosing without subtitles and once you click on that it will automatically transport you to the emails package manager and you'll get this option would you like to install click on yes and it will start installing once that is done click on the refresh option and you can see that the cutscenes restored has been installed properly enable it and now we have to install project Kotone. so open the package folder go to project Kotone the file that we downloaded at step 1 and copy that entire folder into our package folder then go to emulus click on refresh and as you can see Kotone cutscenes yeah we get an option to update it click on yes And now we have both mods properly installed. So for our next step, we have to copy the cutscene files that we downloaded and paste it into Project Kotone. So first, let's open Project Kotone folder. Move it to the side right there. And let's go to the cutscene files folder. Open it up. As you can see, there are two folders, data and FMV. Copy both of them. And paste them into Project Kotone. And if you get a prompt to asking you to whether replace the files, make sure you click on that. And that is done. Yeah, that is done. Open Aimless and now click on the hammer icon and build our CPK file. And our CPK file has been built successfully. Head to PPSSPP for our next step. Click on Persona 3 Portable. And you can already see that the mod has started working with the pink title screen. Now we need to enable the cutscenes, so head to Cheats and make sure that both mod support and unhardcore FMV are enabled. And we are done. Let's see the mod in action now. While I haven't tested this mod on Android myself, 
the DevSec project Kotane confirmed that this works on Android by just copying the P3P and Cheats folder to Android. And that is the video. If you liked it, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, the comment section is open and I will try to reply to them. And for more videos like this and to check out more of my content, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one.